Welcome to Exchange Server Administration. In this video, we will see how we can monitor our Exchange Server by creating custom data collector set. So let's move to the server and get started. So right now we are on our Exchange Server that is EX02 2019. And if I open the performance monitor, you can see the monitoring tools, data collector set and reports. If you go to the reports, you can see the exchange diagnostic daily performance report and if i click any one of them it says collecting data for this much of second exchange diagnostic daily performance log but we want to create a new data collector set according to our choice so let me expand this one data collector set and inside the user defined you can see inside the user defined exchange diagnostic daily performance log is running and if i right click here and click on new data collector set and I will name it as a exchange monitoring and I will click on create manually advance next and I will click on the performance counter we'll click on next and we will add the performance counter here I will click on add and I will expand the processor and I will take the processor time percentage user time and the privilege time I will add this also for the MS exchange AD access domain controller here you can see the MS Exchange AD Access Domain Controllers. Let me expand this and I will add the LDAP read time, LDAP search time, LDAP searches timed out per minute. And also I will add long running LDAP operation per minute. And for the memory, you can see here the memory. I will expand this and I will say available megabytes Add it. We need page reads per second, page input per second, pages per second, pages output per second and pool paged bytes. Also I will add the transition pages repurposed per second. So we have added memory, processor and MS Exchange AD Access Domain Controller. Let's also add the system processor queue length. Here we have a system. Here we have the processor queue length. I will add this and we'll click on OK. I will say save and close. If you see here under the user define, you can see we have created this exchange monitoring and you can just start it. So right now I'm not starting it. Let's create a new data collector set. And this time I will name it as a mailbox monitoring. We see that once click next and we'll click on performance counter next and we'll click on add here we will look for the logical disk and these are the performance counter we are adding to monitor the storage so we will select the logical disk and let me set the average disk second per read average disk second per transfer and average disk second per write i will add this and we will also add the ms exchange is store here we have a ms exchange is store and I will select the RPC average latency, RPC operations per second, RPC request and messages delivered per second. And we'll click on OK, next, next and finish. So now we have a exchange monitoring here and mailbox monitoring here. And if I click on start it and exchange monitoring, I will start it as well. So now both the performance counter has been started. So if I right click here and I say stop, and I go to the latest report here it shows the report processor queue length so we have select these counters and you can see all those have a different colors and you have a report for that you can see what is utilizing the high performance like you can see this is in yellow like privilege time is high sometime and there can be a problem with like uh, processor we can increase the processor here with this green line the memory is completely fine and with this one you can see the pool page byte is also fine we have a straight line we have to consider the thing which are going higher like you can see the ad access controller ldap search time is fine so we have to consider this one like uh, processor queue length so in this scenario we can increase some processor to our exchange server and anytime you can start the monitoring and you can pause it so let me start it again and if i go and stop this one mailbox monitoring so if i go and see the latest report here we have some rpc requests everything seems to be average average disk write average disk second per write you can just point the pointer and you will get the data for that so i hope you got that how you can create the custom count set and you can monitor your exchange so let's meet in the next video